boards, boards, boards. So that case contained all the boards that we took to Embedded World with us in 2023. There were a few that got loaned to us by Future Electronics on the day, but essentially we're looking for new partners for next year's Embedded World, but here's what we took this time. So starting off, we have Andap's board, which is a perfect power solution for Xilinx Zinc FPGAs. So you see all these banana connector points here. What Andap solution does is basically act as a PMIC for FPGAs, which is reprogrammable, so you don't have to redo your board designs. You can see all these banana connectors here. They'll fire out in the order uh, of the power rails required for your design, completely re reconfigurable using um, Andap's uh, online tool. So, if you didn't know already, you really should by now. And anything we write about at IP Exchange, you can apply to evaluate for use in a commercial project. Uh, if you click the link in the description, it'll take you to one of our board pages, which has the technical writing portion rather than the entertaining article. You can see why I got right a second ago or wrong. Uh, here's an example of the end app page. So if you want to get this end app board in your hand, uh, head to this page, you can read about it, or you can go straight to the apply for this board portion of the of the page, you need to provide a few details about yourself and the project that you're working on. This helps us qualify you when we try to get a consultation with you and Andapt. And hopefully it'll result in you having a fruitful partnership aboard and much easier redesigns with your FPGAs. We also have Sightimes boards. They're a MEMS timing solution, so if you're still working with quartz, don't do that. Go to the next level. We've got their TCXO board, which is kind of the perfect way to transition from quartz to MEMS. And then we've got this, it does uh, clocking, lowers jitter for network applications. I've done no prep for this video, Jake. Just called me downstairs. So head to the IP Exchange website where you'll, you'll see the actual specs of these <laughs> boards. We also brought along Espressif's, uh, which one is this? ESP32C6 board, so that's Wi-Fi 6, uh, donated to us very nicely by our friends at Inaltech. You know Espressif, everyone loves them, why the, hence why they're in the new Arduino. So uh, check that one out. Panthronics, we've talked about them loads. So if you're looking for an NFC solution, look no further than Panthronics. They've uh, been acquired by Renesas since we uh, last talked about them. Uh, but yeah, sine wave architecture rather than the square wave architecture, much better power transfer. And uh, yeah, they've, they've got a ton of different dev kits. They're one of the first things that was ever written about for IP Exchange. MoveX's Chicharoni, possibly my favorite board in the office, other than maybe one that we'll talk about in a second. Uh, you've got low RWAN with some serious power saving effects and uh, asset tracking from U blocks. What more could you want in a little Arduino? Um, form factor and compatible board. Cool, Tremato, this board is going home, back to its family. Um, but if you're looking for a very disruptive solution for energy harvesting, this is a beautiful platform that Tremato have come up with. Um, it can harvest from multiple energy harvesters, different energy har harvesters, auto adjust to the harvester. It's, uh, it's someone to look out for. They've got some really cool stuff coming up. A hilariously ironic board from Next Gen Power Systems. So this is their uh, double post testing board for their vertical GAN technology, which um, is actually designed to make the smallest, the very smallest power supplies possible. So yeah, we were pretty shocked when this one arrived, but it is surely a fantastic technology, making power supplies this big more like this big. Check them out. If MoveX weren't my favorite, then LMO certainly is there. This is a single board computer, Linux. At the moment on there, there's a Yocto Pocky build, uh, but we also had fun playing Doom on it. So as you can see, this blue bit is the actual powerhouse. Everything else is just an expansion. Um, yeah, LMO imp impetus. If you're looking for a compact alternative to Raspberry Pi type functionality, yeah, look no further. And here are some of the boards we're hoping to have on the booth the next year. We've got, um, they've all been sent to us very kindly from manufacturers. We've got two FPGA boards here, one from Digilent, one from Cologne Chip. You should see the post from the beginning of the week. Um, board from Ambic, that was very kind of them. If you're looking for any MCU for wearables, it's so, so low power consumption. We've got some tower glass antennas, personal favorite. Even a, 
RT gateway, well, uh, lower our gateway uh, from Rack Wireless. And there's a conversation that will be recorded tomorrow, hopefully, with a very disruptive company called Connexio, who are using a NRF 9160 uh, chip on there. Yeah, good stuff. So if you want to be a disruptive partner with IP Exchange, reach out to Jake or I, follow the page, and we'll see if we can get your board onto our booth. You have the power, Renata Batteries.